Hello, good day everyone. We are group one from engineering management subject. I am Pranasila Narmukam, the leader of this group, along with Shervinda Shmurkaya, Pani Salvam Panliyappan and Sri Tarantana Palil. Our title for the case study is Fib Condit and the Boeing 777, from design and development to production and sales. Professor IA Dr. Sevia Mahalisa Idrus is our lecturer. For the introduction to our case study, the case discusses the event that occurred in Boeing, one of the largest aerospace companies in the world under the leadership of Philip Condit. At the time, Boeing company was encountering a big crisis concerning the production of imaging Boeing 777. The efforts of Philip Condit and the success of Boeing 777 used to benchmark a similar project in Malaysia, development of Malaysian airline, Mars. Uh, there are two objectives. First is to analyze the effort, efforts and strategy that carry out by Philip Condit to make Boeing 777 project successful. And the second objective is to study the development of Boeing 777 technology and how to diffuse the innovation in aircraft design and the production beyond the 777 program. Part 1. Strategic Planning Planning is very vital for any project because it provides direction, reduces uncertainties, minimizes the waste and establishes the standards of controlling. Philip Condi introduced many improvements in both technological addition to administrative, airplane modeling and assembly. SWOT analysis is the tool to examine the internal and external affairs of the company. The strength of the company is the company's decision to incorporate with other airline operators from around the world to create ideas and design the Boeing 777 project. The weakness of the company is the characterized company as huge development costs initially threatened the survival of the business. Rising costs and declining productivity effect negatively towards the project. The, the opportunities is most of the target companies familiar with Boeing company because they are one of the established company in airline industry. The threats are the growth of same level opponents like Airbus. Their growth if effect negatively towards the Boeing company. When we benchmark with benchmark this case with Malaysian Airlines development mass, we can see that the strength of the mass is they have very strong and well designed organization structure. They have talented management team always plays the most important role in planning and controlling. Their weakness is their offerings, personal and financial introduction of low for low cost fares by certain airlines like AirAsia, certainly hurting Malaysian airlines in short run. The opportunity is improving customer satisfaction intended with changes in customer preference. There are threats, which is economy competitor, intense competition, terrorism, and political unrest, which put airline, Malaysian airlines always in a risk. This is the financial part, uh, which is the main point is the risk management. So next. Uh, the background is a project fin finance is the fund, the funding of a long-term infrastructure, industrial project, and public services using a non recourse or limited resource financial structure, symmetric, uh, symmetric uh, risk exposure is a situation in which a risk can result in either a gain or loss and the potential gain and loss equally each other in the value. Next, uh, next is uh, risk management in the point of, main point is a profitability. In investment, the company invests 370 million in a new integrated aircraft system laboratory adjacent to airplane's entire system. Next is the sales. The increased gross weight and the long range 777 work pay off between 134 to 153 million in the February 1997. The production, the Air Force then adjusted journal entry, entries to redefine the transition point for supply sustaining engineering charges of under 72 million, moving them from development to production accounts. Next is the benchmark with the Malaysian airline, which is a, a Malaysian airline risk in the point of risk management. First is the risk is a Malaysian airline to ad, other competitors. Their costs are more expensive. Their action is uh, to they improve their capability as well as market strategy to deal with the issue. They increase uh, safety measure, start offering different services on the new destinations and maintaining the excellence 
workforce to win back the customer. So, hello, my part of presentation for today is innovation and technology. Next. So as for the background, although Boeing did not consider new features on the 777 as a technical breakthrough, design methods the company would choose on the leading edge of technology. Philip Condit referred to the Boeing's company, Boeing uh, computer design technology, which eliminated the mock-up as an order of magnitude change. Avionics integration is one of the important factors that has been included in the Boeing 777 technology, which covers a multitude of high-tech electronic devices found on modern aircraft. So as for the discussion analysis of this Boeing 777, Avionics integration is one of the important factors that has been evolved through the technology of Boeing 777. So there are actually four factors in this integration. The first one is fly by wire system. This uses electrical signals rather than mechanical links to move airplane control surfaces such as rudders and ailerons. The second one is aircraft information management system. Honeywell developed AIMS, the system that manages data exchange among 150 processors on the 777. The third one is uh, primary flight computer, PFC. Three prim primary flight computers calculate precise adjustment in response to the autopilot and to the flight management computers that control destination, cost, and as well as altitude. So the third one is ADA software language, which is single standard software language to cut costs for supporting more than 300 existing program languages. These software languages also provides greater portability for use in planes or other weapon systems. Next. So the, as we can bench, benchmark our case study with Malaysian airline de development, the Malaysian airline development has three factors that they have been evolved with their technology as well. The first one is Airbus Upnext Telio, which provides seamless smart route routing in satellite consolidation, uh, which is LEO and GEO. The second one is system on chip Avionics. These Avionics computing solutions offer integration based on safety critical multi-core processors combined with a new generation of Avionics communication. The third one is un ununified Airbus network solution. This, pro this solution provides cable data and data network technologies from airline to supply to help reduce airline operating costs. Thanks. Okay, now we look into the strategic management. So what is strategic management? Strategic management is the set of managerial decision and action that determines the long run performance of a corporation. So. First, we look into the background of Boeing 777. Boeing was essentially a military contractor producing fighter aircraft in the 1920s and 1930s bombers during World War II. During 1950s, Boeing had become the world's largest manufacturer of commercial aircraft. That's the turning point of Boeing 777. The introduction of 707 in 1958 represents a major breakthrough in the history of commercial aviation. Boeing introduced the 747 in 1970. The development of 747 represented another breakthrough. The 747 white body design was one of a kind and it has no real competition anywhere in the aviation industry. So strategic management analysis of Boeing 777. The organization changed from separation of function to strong team orientation. Boeing 777 organization used to be a barrier oriented organization, BOO, composed of functional divisions such as engineering, finance, manufacturing. This was replaced with a strong team orientation with the use of cross-sectional, cross-functional teams. So next, the organization shifted from strong orientation to the individual to knowledge sharing. People in Boeing used to leverage information in order to get promoted. This focus changed to sharing knowledge among teams in the 777 project. Third, the fundamental trust shifted from product orientation and technology push to process orientation. Things like cycle time, time to market and respond to customers' desires become the driving forces. Now we look into the benchmarking with Nation Airlines strategic management. The so impeccable track record of contributing to national development and has been a talent factory for skilled employees, especially its engineer, pilots and cabin crew was a strategic management of Nation Airlines to be a developed airlines in the aviation. Upkeep their competitor by providing high quality of services in order to win customers' faith and loyalty. Third, introduce a new rewarding plan to their workers, like offer permanent staff maximum two years of unpaid leave. Finally, they improve state division management to be a famous airlines. Conclusion of our presentation today. 
This paper of Philip Condit and development of the 777 system, which describes the management and the technology changes that Philip Condit made to the development style of the Boeing, Boeing company. Mr. Condit saw the chance to bring Boeing into the 21st century, not only with the new technology of computer, computer aided drafting, but with modern management technique as well. Management, Malaysian Airlines has achieved substantial returns and constantly outperformed its competitors. Mars has pursued several strategies and established strategic alliance with other organizations to gain competitive advantage. In a market with a lot of growing airlines, Mars has still managed to sustain its competitive advantage even during critical situations as if like MCO itself. That's it for our presentation today. Thank you.